So this is a pretty cool case because uh, you can see the difference between acidic fluid and a normal patient looks more like urine, should be translucent, you can see through it, and this other fluid that looks like Coca-Cola is just dark, it's thick, you can't see, turbid. Um, this patient came to the ER very sick. He has a known history of ascites or fluid in his belly. For the last day or two he has had some increasing abdominal pain had tachycardia that means his heart rate was fast more than 95 he was actually like 110 or something and he had an elevated white count of 20 something thousand and almost 10,000 so we knew there was an infection by by knowing there was infection because of the white count the tachycardia we know he's septic with a history of abdominal pain and ascites we worry about SBP spontaneous bacterial peritonitis so as a working part of the diagnosis we did the paracentesis for diagnostic purposes but went ahead and removed four and a half liters of fluid so patients started feeling better started responding to the fluids and antibiotics because of the abdominal suspect of spontaneous bacterial peritonitis we gave sozin which does cover for abdominal tract infections and um we obtained that fluid. Um, we went ahead and called for admission. The patient was hypotensive. We continued to give fluids. After the full 30 cc per kilogram bolus because of sepsis, blood pressure was starting to improve, but then kind of coming down. So we consulted for pick line placement and start some pressures on the patient. Uh, we did a CT scan of the abdomen pelvis. It showed colitis and inflammation of the colon and bowel and free air on the abdomen that indicated to us that there is a probable perforation of the bowel that caused stool contents and infection to get into that fluid and thus caused the bacterial peritonitis. Very, very good case. The patient had an elevated lactic acid of 9.9, abnormal is anything more than 2, so this patient was very, very sick, was admitted to intensive care unit. Now it's been two days after we did this, the patient's still in the ICU. It seems to be improving. Now normally a perforated bowel needs to be taken to the operating room, find the perforation, fix it. This patient was very, very sick. Family elected for non-surgical management. So we start patient antibiotics, hydration, fluids, pressors, and no, no surgery. And he seems to be improving as per the notes of the providers who are caring for this patient. Um, so what we can learn here about is uh, what does infective fluid looks like because we've done a couple of videos on um, ascites that looks normal and it's just ascitic fluid but this is infected ascites fluid in other words positive for peritonitis and infection inside the abdomen and then of course the fact that the elevated white on the tachycardia the low blood pressure indicates this patient is very sick uh, indications for septic shock because even after fluid hydration of 30 milliliters per kilo patient was still hypotensive that uh, is a criteria for sepsis of course an elevated lactic more than five also and um, that's about it I hope you enjoy the comparison of the fluids so you can learn what's normal what's abnormal and you continue to learn with me in this video series see ya bye bye here is Karen Chen Flying into this opening triple lutz, triple toilet combination. Yeah! Hi everyone, this is Olympic figure skater Karen Chen. I'm saying hi to Team Synergy. Um, but yeah, if there's one thing I know, it is about diet and exercise. So stay dedicated to your hard work, diet, and keep up with the great work. So I love you guys so much and good luck with everything. Hold it.